Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some basketball on 2K Sports. It's Basconia and FC Bayern Munich. All right, ready to go? Ready to go? And here is Basconia now. Adams outside. They set the pick. The pass to Quizier. A three-pointer off the mark. Bayern with the ball. Here's Renfro. Out left to the wing. Pops loose off the pick and hammers it home. And you know, that's an example of how many plays we have in the game for which there's no stat. A monster dunk coming off just a terrific pick play. Greg, you're right. It really did work to perfection. Gave him all the room he needed for the flush. Boy, that's a sound physical play. I mean, can't be afraid to put a shoulder into somebody every once in a while. It's a contact sport, folks. Here's Cozier. Adams outside. Hanga passes to Quizier. But three. Thompson with the rebound. Asconia on D. Four point game. Here's Renfro. Jumper off the screen. It's hauled in by Adams. Good little two man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good looking shot, well executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. And out, out of, of bounds, bounds is Byron gains possession. A temporary lapse of focus from him on that turnover. It's embarrassing, but on occasion it does happen. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Thompson outside. There's a good screen. Down low. It's picked off. Pass to Quizera. Back to Adams. A second chance effort. Here's Perusis. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Vasconi is shooting their first free throw of the game right now. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Here's Renfro. Adams defending. No good that time. Now Basconia with it. They trail by one. Here's Quizier. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Basconia on D. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And once again off the mark by Bayern. And here is Basconia now. Here's Hanga. Money from the wing. Here's Renfro. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I was able to catch up with the head coach of the home team. He told me, honestly, on paper, it's hard to separate these teams. We're similar in so many ways, it's hard to find a real advantage one way or the other. He said he expects this to be a very tight game. Back to you, Kevin. Wonderful stuff, Doris. Thanks. I think we could have a tight one on our hands today by, by the sounds of it. You know, that's what it looks like. These two teams really are just so similar in so many ways. And for me, that's why this figures to be such an entertaining matchup, guys. It should be nip and tuck and a real dogfight. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. And watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. He gets that one. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Well, I tell you, that's, that really sets a bad tone, especially this early. I mean, I'd rather see him commit a hard foul than give him an easy two like that. Show that you're willing to protect the basket. Make him earn it at least. Now here's Adams to the paint. Pass to Barusis. Here's Cozier. 
14, just four to shoot. There's the killer two-handed slam. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Count it good. He's got six. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Adams outside. And the basket by Barusis. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. There's the pick to the inside. Thompson, soft touch off the glass. Thompson's got his second bucket. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Adams outside. Out left of the wing. Screen by Adams. T. And it's Bayern Munich with the rebound. Expanding his range. No good on that one. So Basconia will take it the other way. Here's Quizair. Taylor with the rebound. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well, Greg. Iron shooting their first free throws of the night. Number 42. At the line for two. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first one falls, and Bascogno will go for a different look here. Good on both. And here is Basconia now. Here's Cozier. With one on the clock. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Basconia leads by two. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? They seem to be a, a step slower, and, and that's one reason why they've been able to own the rebounding edge. Well, the anticipation's been better. As the ball hits the rim, it's gone right to them. Solid job of them chasing it down and anticipating it. Iron with the ball, trailing by two. Here's Gobble. Pass to Zipser. Clock at six. Here's Bryant. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Now the pass to Quizair. Out to the right wing. They set the pick. There's an the pass to Shinjeli. And it's off from three-point ring. Here's Gobble. All sorts of time. And the jumper falls for him. And it's all knotted up. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought 
without any individual agendas. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. They get a bet. Here's Paninich. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved a layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Two shots. No good on the free throw. It's the second from the line. And Byron has possession. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. Pass to Zipser. Right side, Bryant. That doesn't go either for Bryant. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Have the space there, but it's offline. Byron with the ball. They trail by one. To the middle. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Bryant's got his first points of the night. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And, Clark, they might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Unloads from 13. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Jop kicks to Adams. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Over to the wing. Over to the left wing. Feeds the Jop. Now the dish to Adams. No good on the triple. And Byron has possession. Passes it to Zips. Inside, Bryant falls through. He's now made two of four. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. They set the pick. Adams outside. To the left side wing. The pass to Planinich. Asconia with another miss. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. You know doubt about it. The defense, you can see him exhaling right now. Fortunate that he didn't knock that one down. Count the basket. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. Now here's Adams to the right side. It's stolen by Bryant. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Vasconia trails by five. A minute 50 left to play in the first half. Dishes it to Adams. Pass to Bertens. Just five on the clock. Planning it. Defended by Bryant. Good on the shot. He has such a nice touch for a big man. Yeah, and they've got to figure out a way to get a bigger body on him. Because if they don't match up his size, then he's going to continue to work him over the rest of the game. To the middle. And he uses the glass on the way. And Byron leads by five. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. They set the pick. Inside. It's stolen by Bryant. 
And here's the break. Here's Zipser. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Hey guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Bayern. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been. Made. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. To the wing right side. Kicks it to Jop. Passes it to Bertens. From the right block, the shot is good. Bertens. Zipser from deep three-point range and released it in time, but it's off the mark. And the first half is now in the books. It's Bayern up seven. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. second half about to start here in just a few moments. Here's Adams. Come to me, come to me. There's the pass to Barusis. Tries from seven. Again, Basconia. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. Here's Renfro. They set the pick. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. And Bayern leads by seven. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Asconi is shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good.
So he gets them both. Byron leading by five. They set the screen. Thompson left side. 11 feet away. And there's another one for Bayern Munich. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Now here's Adams. Defense is right there. And it's Bayern Munich with the rebound. That's one he knows he should have drained. Here's Renfro. Shot clock at six. There's the triple. Kept alive by Bayern. Two points. That one goes. And it's a nine-point Bayern lead. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Wizzair busts the J after the KG pass fake. Byron leading by seven. Here's Renfro. It's stolen by Adams. It's stolen by Taylor. Here's Djanovic. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the free throw, no good. Vasconia trails by nine. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Right wing. Six on the shot clock. Man. Doesn't go that time. So Basconia will take it the other way. Here's Cozier. And it's going to be a three-second call. <laughs> Bayern leading by seven. Here's Renfro. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. And once again off the mark by Bayern. Three-pointer. No good on that one. Well, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Out to the right wing. And they're moving it up. Here's Cuisineau. Cranes the jumper to finish the break. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Shoot it, shoot it. Here's Renfro. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Vasconia trails by five. Here's Sangelia. And they pick up two. Sangelia's got his first bucket of the night. 141 left in the third quarter. Here's Gobble. Shot to end this cold run. Here's the jump shot. And Byron leads by five. The feed to Shangeli. To the wing right side. For three. Sinks the triple. Seven points in the game. He might not have the long-range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. Come to me, come to me. 
55 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's the screen. Here's Renfro. Just three to shoot. Goes up on the wing. Doesn't get it to drop for him. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. 29 seconds left in the third. The game now all time. Sanjeli's got four points now in the quarter. You got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grinded out physical game. That's the kind of look they can continue to go with. Maybe that'll help them create some separation on the scoreboard. Pass to Jedovic. Well, three-pointer, no good. Look at that shot! How did that go in? How about that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the fourth quarter of action getting underway we've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play Byron trails by three. Outside, Taylor. There's a screen. Pass to Bryant. 14 feet away. They get the rebound. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. First one falls for him. And Basconia making a change here. Adams checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Adams. To the inside. Nurtinus, he's covered by Thompson. Passes it to Hanga. Shot clock at six. To the paint. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. That one misses. Byron trails by three. Here's Taylor. Good on the triple. He's one of the guys they don't mind taking the three in transition when he's that open. He's lethal out there. It's stolen by Taylor. Now here's Taylor. The fast break opportunity. It's hauled in by Basconi. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Henga, count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. 
And Vasconia leads by two. And they're scoring much more efficiently here in the second half. And they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. I tell you what, any team will take that. I mean, if you're shooting over 50 percent, it means you're getting the kind of looks you want on offense. And you're being smart about it. And you're knocking down the good shots that you get. Two on the clock. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. And here is Basconia now. Out to the right wing. Barus is with it. Working on Bryant. Barus can't get it to go. Usually if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Come to me, come to me. Here's Gobble. Adams defending. The dish to Bryant. The turnaround J. That shot, no good. Bryant's gone just to a six shooting, 33%. Down low. The pass to Quizair. Adams outside. Pass to Bertens. There's the pick. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Now it's a four-point Basconia lead. Feeds to Bryant. Outside, Taylor. Dishes to Bryant. Thompson up top. He kicks it to Taylor. Here's Gobble. And once again, off the mark by Byron. Basconia leading by four. Adams, the pass to Quizier. Back to Adams. Passes it to Quizier. Now, Barusis. He's covered by Thompson. Shot from the wing. Again, Basconia. And it looks like they left their defensive effort back in the locker room, guys. They just haven't had the same commitment here defensively time in the out, second time half. Out. Time called here. Byron decides to talk it over. Start it. And Vasconia making a change here. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. He told them that for now, they have to back off of the three-point line. He said, we don't have to just shoot threes. Let's get the ball in tight for some high-percentage looks inside the paint. Back to you guys. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Here's Renfro. Adams defending. And once again off the mark by Byron. Oh man, you know he'd love to have that one over. T. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. Greg, you can feel the sense of urgency they have to get this thing closed out as soon as possible. On the free throw, no good. Byron trails by eight. Stolen away. And here's the fast break. 156 left in the fourth. Adams outside. Here's Perusis. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Here's Renfro. To the left wing. There's the pick. 
Here's Janovic. Uses the glass to finish the way. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. Boy, that was a nice job. He worked himself into a really good position there, right near the basket. That's the look he wanted. A screen from Thompson. From 13, and he connects with the jumper. And now it's just a four-point Bastonia lead. Well, there's not a whole lot you can do about that move. That's just good offense. They were all over him, and he still managed to drain. Here's Perusis. Now the pass to Hanga. Bastonia with another miss. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, as a coach, you can really ill afford to have those types of opportunities presented against your defense. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. As much a shot as I have ever seen. In a word, gutsy. Terrific and one on that one. Those are the kind of plays, guys, that win basketball games. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Here's Perusis. Count it. He was the first one time to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Time called here. Byron decides to talk it over. They're losing by three. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Twenty six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Renfro. Pass to Jedovich. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. And so they foul intentionally. And so they choose to intentionally foul. them a four-point cushion. The second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And that's exactly how you close the game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Time called here. Byron decides to talk it over. They trail by five. Nine seconds left to play in the final quarter.
to the right side. And lets it go from deep. The shot, no good. So Basconia wins it. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harling saying thanks for watching. Now let's take a look at the Jordan player of the game.